Welcome back to our series where we unveil everything you should know while selecting your perfect e-commerce platform. Today, we're exploring the wonderful world of Magento Open Source. And trust me, I understand that choosing the right e-commerce platform for your brand can be an incredibly daunting task. Uh, why are you torturing me? It's a decision that will impact your business success for the next two to four years. And it's easy to be overwhelmed with the sheer amount of information you can get while researching. Don't worry, I got you. Today, we'll demystify Magento open source together and get down to what's relevant. I'll share some insider insights into why brands choose this platform over others, including Adobe Commerce or Shopify Plus, what it takes to succeed and the real costs involved. Now let's jump in our handy dandy time machine and take a quick trip back to August 21st, 2018. It's a sunny day at Adobe's world headquarters in San Jose. The Adobe Experience team just received the news that the Magento Commerce acquisition for $1.68 billion is complete. The whole office is up in arms cheering. They've worked tirelessly to make this strategic acquisition happen, paving the way for Adobe Commerce to be born by integrating Magento's robust e-commerce capabilities with the Experience Cloud. Subsequent to the acquisition, Adobe launched two main versions of their commerce software, Adobe Commerce and Magento 2 Open Source. Now, back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Let's recap and address some questions you might already have. One. Magento 1 pre-acquisition is no longer supported. To date, there are still thousands of merchants on Magento 1 and getting to Magento 2 would require a full migration. Two, Adobe Commerce is built on the Magento 2 framework and enhanced by the Adobe Experience Cloud. If you're using Adobe Commerce, you're using Magento 2 and paying for an Adobe Commerce license. Three, and finally, the star of today's show, Magento 2 Open Source which we'll just call Magento Open Source from now on, is a free e-commerce platform offered by Adobe, but does not have official Adobe technical support or out-of-the-box experience features. In other words, we can think of Magento Open Source and Adobe Commerce as siblings. We'll call them sisters. And Adobe Commerce is the prettier, more wealthy sister that has a team helping her get ready for the ball. While Magento Open Source, like Cinderella, needs to go to the ball on a budget. She relies on her own wit and a helpful community of mice and bird, but in our case, it's developers and designers. The beauty here is she has the ability to fully tailor her dress and fabrics, or platform and features, a la carte. This positions Magento open source as a perfect option for small and medium businesses, capable of managing their e-commerce solutions in-house or with the help of an outside development team. Cue the music. In comes my team, IWD Agency. Now, let's jump into the big question. I'm sorry that people are so jealous of me, but I can't help it that I'm popular. Why is Magento so beloved by merchants and developers alike? We'll start off strong. Magento open source is completely free to use. Bypassing platform licensing fees will save you between twenty dollars and $100,000 per year, compared to using a competing platform, and that's a pretty penny. In Austin, Texas, this would put you up at least 20,000 tacos. This cost efficiency doesn't just apply to the initial setup. The open source nature allows for community-driven enhancements and updates, further reducing long-term maintenance expenses. The low cost of ownership is one of the most compelling reasons why small to medium-sized merchants opt for Magento open source over Adobe Commerce. However, it's important to note that there are other costs involved, which we'll discuss later in this video. Among open source technologies, Magento is widely regarded as the top dog. Its open source nature grants access to the core code, facilitating extensive customization possibilities and flexibility. We're talking Gumby level flexibility, folks. This allows for the precise tailoring of a brand's e-commerce experience through a rich marketplace of extensions, which can be super cost-effective, or for the possibility to develop custom features and functionality independently, which can be more resource-intensive, but ultimately allows brands to match their visions one-to-one. -one. These forms of customizations are what we mean by choosing your functionality a la carte. And for those who know how to use the magic of Magento, it's like being a kid in a candy store. Flexibility will allow your brand to swiftly adapt to changes in the market and scale operations efficiently, unencumbered by inflexible frameworks. 
In contrast, cloud-based platforms like Shopify offer limited to non-existent customization, making merchants reliant on the cloud marketplace and product updates released by Shopify. For instance, are clients seeking a custom checkout, fully branded customer hubs, or wishing to avoid paying a revenue share to Shopify, find an open source framework like Magento essential. Now, customizing is great and we're here for it, but... Let's not ignore the elephant in the room. Customizing Magneto can be expensive and take time. This is why we love that Magento has such a wide range of out-of-the-box e-commerce features, including powerful marketing tools, intuitive navigation, and robust security features. And it's so nice, it's worth mentioning twice. The name's so nice, you say it twice. Their robust marketplace is Packin. When we say they offer a plethora of additional extensions and themes to further enhance your online store's functionality and aesthetics, we mean it. The ability to build the store of your dreams is what allows brands to unlock their competitive edge in the digital landscape. Magento stands out in its support for both B2B and B2C models, boasting advanced features such as custom catalogs, dynamic pricing, and robust inventory management capabilities. Its adaptability allows for smooth transitions between different business models and enables personalized customer interactions. This fosters stronger relationships and drives higher conversion rates. For many of our clients at IWD Agency, the ability to embrace and leverage both B2B and B2C models has proven to be a potent strategy for increasing revenue and achieving market leadership. Storefronts galore. Magento's multi-store functionality enables businesses to manage multiple online storefronts from a single platform efficiently. This feature is particularly advantageous for businesses with diverse product lines or global operations, allowing centralized management of inventory, orders, and customer data while offering tailored shopping experiences for different target markets. Many of the benefits we've talked about so far are well aligned with small and medium-sized businesses, but both business model adaptability and multi-store functionality are features that keep enterprise brands sticking around. Finally, we love the community. It's a melting pot of developers, designers, and merchants who are highly active when it comes to contributing to the platform's growth. Thank you for being a friend. You can be part of the most productive online party without the need for small talk. Even our awesome developers here at IWD are part of the community. They've created hundreds of extensions over the last 16 years. We know firsthand when developers put their minds to something, it's going to get done. The rich Magento community provides invaluable support, including troubleshooting assistance, best practices, and new ways of solving problems. Now let's talk cost. You can't eat the lobster at dinner without being prepared for the check. There are some key investments you should consider before starting your journey with Magento, including development, extensions, hosting, security patches, and ongoing upgrades. However, no worries. IWD is here to help provide some much-needed clarity and support. To embark on your Magento journey, there are three initial investments you should consider. The cost of developing and launching your website. This encompasses creative design, UX UI, front-end and back-end development, quality assurance, and ultimately going live. The price of a la carte extensions. What toppings do you want on your pizza? These extensions could include a custom order manager, enhanced layered navigation, Google page speed optimizers, a one-page checkout, or other customizations to elevate your store. Lastly, hosting. Several options are available, but we recommend checking out Liquid Web. They'll keep you feeling secure and warm and fuzzy. I'll also point out a few more important ongoing costs you should be aware of. We highly recommend budgeting for annual upgrades and security patches, which are released every three months on average. When it comes to developing your website with our IWD Accelerator plan, you're just four weeks away from launch, starting at $20,000. However, most of our clients require bespoke solutions that tailor fit their vision, the haute couture of online stores. These innovators have a launch pad ready in six to nine weeks, starting at $50,000. We've seen over 300 Magento stores flourish under our guidance. So what's in the recipe for success? A pinch of vision, a spoonful of strategy, and a generous helping of Magento. It's almost like baking a cake, but please don't eat your computer. Also, having a vision or having the right partner will be essential. Whether you're a small startup or a growing medium-sized business, Magento offers the tools and flexibility needed to create a unique, far-reaching online presence. The journey may require effort and time investment, but the rewards of a successful store, increased sales, customer satisfaction, and brand loyalty are immeasurable.
Well, fam, thanks for joining me today. Remember, with Magento and IWD, you're not just building a store, you're crafting an empire. Death Star, but much more profitable. Until next time, Gabby, out.